welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Two Spoons and I make vegan recipes. Today I'm making a recipe for vegan coconut flour pancakes. They are sweet and moist, light and fluffy, and made completely gluten-free. The recipe uses a blend of gluten-free all-purpose flour and coconut flour. I find that coconut flour is really quite dense and so adding that gluten-free flour really just kind of fluffs it up for that beautiful fluffy light pancake that we love if you're looking for a recipe that's entirely made of coconut flour definitely check out my brownies it works great for that because it's more of a dense baked treat but i definitely think that this combo this blend of flours is the perfect ratio this recipe is an easy blender recipe basically we're going to be adding all the ingredients to a blender getting it into a really nice thick and smooth batter and then we'll be cooking on the stovetop. You can top with whatever you like. I like to add fresh strawberries, a little bit of raspberry chia jam is also delicious. I've got a recipe for that on the blog or you can use whatever toppings you like. So let me show you how to make them. Okay, so we're gonna start by grabbing our blender and we're literally just throwing everything in. So we're gonna start with our gluten-free flour. I'm using one-to-one -one all purpose gluten-free flour. This is the Bob's Red Mill. I just find that it works really well uh, on keeping things really nice and fluffy. So that would be my recommendation. I'll include a link below. This is the coconut flour. We're gonna add half a banana. We're gonna add in some peanut butter, some almond milk, a tablespoon of maple syrup, and then a teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And now we're just gonna pull it on and let's play. I'm just gonna use a spatula and scrape down some of those dry bits on the side. This already smells so good. Okay, so this is a really nice thick batter now, so let's get this over to the stovetop and make our pancakes. Okay, so I have preheated my pan here. I always find the first pancake can be a little bit of a flop, but I cannot stress enough how important it is to pre-warm your pan. So many times I'm impatient and I don't wanna wait, and then the pan is just not hot enough and the pancakes, like the first three, just end up in the garbage. So definitely, definitely preheat. And basically what we're looking for is some bubbles to form around the outside and a few in the center. This usually takes like two to three minutes and then you can flip and cook the other side. This is looking like it has some nice air bubbles in it. The outsides are looking nice and cooked. So I think we're ready to flip this. So now that I've done my first one, I'm gonna kind of cluster them and do three at a time. Just makes things go faster. This is like a perfect breakfast recipe for something like a Sunday brunch where you have a little bit more time that you can kind of stand over your stove and make pancakes. We always do pancake Sunday in my house. Um, Ollie loves it, my son, and so does Mitch. He's such a pancake guy. So this is a popular one. Um, sometimes people ask me if they can prepare the batter in advance. I know some recipes say you can. I actually never do because I'm adding baking powder to the mixture and so like that's what's really gonna cause that light fluffy bubbliness so I always make it the morning of you really only need like five ten minutes for it to kind of thicken I can't really say whether or not you should because I never do it but my recommendation is no because of the baking powder test. Mm, they're so moist, soft, pillowy, light. I love these. 
these pancakes are amazing. I really hope that you give these coconut flour pancakes a try. And if you do, let me know what you think in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. And make sure that you give this recipe a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and get more vegan recipes from me. Yeah.